Paleomagnetism by Say and Olivia Kwan. To start with, my research question is, what is paleomagnetism and how does it support plate tectonics theory? First of all, paleomagnetism is study of magnetism in rocks to learn about Earth's magnetic field and its history. But how does it prove that plate tectonics is really happening? To learn about it, you first have to know about plate tectonics theory. Plate tectonics theory, which is supported by the continental drift theory, states that the Earth's lithosphere is divided into tectonic plates which move over time. The movement of plates is called plate tectonics and it is believed that the convection current from the mantle is causing it. Plate tectonics includes movements like sea floor spreading, subduction, and rift. Paleomagnetism gives evidence to plate tectonics, especially sea floor spreading. This is how it works. When the magma comes out of the mid atlantic ridge and cools down creating new volcanic rocks, the magnetite, a magnetic mineral inside the magma, makes the molten magma to align themselves towards the North Pole. In this picture, the North Pole will be somewhere here. The harder rocks are just like the compass needles, always pointing towards the North Magnetic Pole. Depending on the place the rock hardens, the rocks will point the North Pole in different angles. Scientists can predict where the rock was formed by looking at the angle towards the North Pole if they know where the North Pole is. Moreover, scientists made an interesting observation from the rock that was found near mid Atlantic Ridge where new volcanic rocks were kept on forming. The interesting observation was that the same piece of rock showed different alignments or angles towards the North Pole in different layers. It gave scientists two possible ideas, polar wandering and continental drift. Polar wandering means that the magnetic poles move while continents stay in its original position. On the other hand, continental drift is when continents move and magnetic poles are fixed in their place. Based on the observation, either one has happened. But scientists didn't know which one has happened. Which do you think has happened before? Polar wandering or continental drift? Scientists first thought that the polar wandering was happening, meaning that the magnetic poles move over time. So they did an experiment to find out the path or the direction magnetic poles move. So here's how they did. Using the angles of volcanic rocks pointing toward North Pole, they calculated where the North Pole was. Using this diagram, we know that 600 million years ago, the North Pole was here. 500 million years ago, 400 million years ago, 300 million years ago, 200 million years ago, 100 million years ago, and the present location of North Pole. And the path that they found out is called the apparent polar wonder path. But the scientists found something very interesting again. All rocks from different continents show different apparent polar wonder paths. As you see on the diagram, the red line is the apparent polar path for North America, yellow for Europe, and purple for Africa. So what did that mean? It meant that either there were a lot of magnetic poles in the past which kept them moving, and for some reason they gathered together creating the poles we have right now, or that the plates have drifted over time. Having many poles is very unlikely to happen, since we know that Earth is a big magnet, that only has two poles, north and south. In addition, if the continents were drifting, there should be only one north pole. In this diagram, two different continents show north pole in two different locations. But what has actually happened is that those two continents were together 200 million years ago and they diverged due to seafloor spreading. And just like the diagram, scientists believe that's what happened to our continents too. So they came up with a conclusion that the continents were drifting, meaning that the plate tectonics were happening. So these are the main points. Paleomagnetism is study of magnetism in rocks to learn about Earth's magnetic field and its history. The rock with different angles or alignments toward North Pole gave scientists ideas of polar wander and continental drift. Since polar wandering is not happening, 
plate tectonics happening. And lastly, paleomagnetism supports plate tectonics theory because all we talked about is paleomagnetism. These are the sources I used. And these are the image sources I used. Thank you for watching!